Never have I ever TikTok edition. Put a finger down if you scroll through TikTok for 24 hours on end, constantly saving workout videos that you tell yourself you'll do later, but then you never end up actually doing any of them because you sit in bed for the entire day watching more TikToks. So today we actually are going to be testing out those TikTok workouts for an entire week. So let's just get into it. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Cora. So for today's video, we are going to be testing TikTok workouts. If you watch my videos, you would know that I recently did the Chloe Ting two-week stride challenge, which I did like, but I thought I'd try something out new for today. And it's been about three weeks since I did the Chloe Ting workout. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually haven't worked out since I completed that challenge. So we're basically going to be starting from scratch again because I took a three-week break. Surprise, surprise. If you're familiar with TikTok, you would know that workouts are one of the categories that people post about, and I'm always liking them, but I never end up actually doing them. So I thought in today's video, I'd actually test out the TikTok workouts. I have a ton saved, so I'm going to be doing about three TikTok workouts a day. Almost every single day, we're gonna start with cardio, and then we're gonna do a butt workout, and then an arms or core workout. So before we get into the first workout, we are going to be taking my measurements, just like we did in the Chloe Ting Challenge, and then we're also gonna be looking at what I look like now, in and then we'll do the same at the end to see if there's any physical difference in my appearance after doing TikTok workouts for a week straight. Okay, so my waist is 28.5 inches. Instead of measuring waist like my last workout video, we're actually going to measure my butt because I'm going to be doing butt workouts every single day in this video. Okay, my butt is exactly 39 inches. Now that we have all of my measurements, we're just gonna look at the physical appearance of my body, and then obviously we'll do the same at the end. Okay, so this is what my body looks like now without flexing, pushing out, sucking in, anything like that. Here's me from the side, and then here is my waistline. So obviously with these TikTok workouts, there isn't really a program I'm following, like the Chloe Ting challenge, but like I said, I saved a ton of workout TikToks in the past, so I'm going to be using those and finding new ones as well. So the first workout we're gonna be doing today is a cardio workout, and this is supposed to be a fat-burning cardio hit workout. This is by a creator named Jenny Rosa. After that, we're gonna be doing doing a butt workout and we're gonna be doing this butt workout every single day in this video because it states in the TikTok that you have to do it every single day in order to see results. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And this is by a girl named Sophie. And then lastly, we're gonna be doing an arm and abs workout. This is by a girl named Lexi. Also, all the links to the TikTok workouts that I'm going to be doing in this entire video will be in the description box just to give credit to all the creators and for reference if you guys wanna try this out yourself. Okay, let's just get started with day number one. Sweating. It's so humid out. It's got some problems. Whew, this is hard. One more round. I'm dying. We're done with the cardio. I'm dripping sweat so bad. Okay, we just finished the cardio workout and now we're on to the butt workout. Like I said in the beginning of this video, we're gonna be doing this butt workout every single day in this entire week long video. I am gonna be using a resistance band for this workout. The creator of this video did use the resistance band and that's why I'm using one. Technically, you don't need to use a resistance band, but it will give you better results if you do use it and just make it a lot harder. Let's just get started. I am sore. Oh my god, this burns. This burns so badly. Ooh, we're done. That burned. Ooh, that is a lot harder than it looks. Last exercise. Sweating immensely. On to abs. I am tired to say the least. That butt workout had me sweating. I'm gonna be so freaking sore, I already know. Also, the cardio, I was dripping. It's so humid outside, so that is not helping. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for day two. 
What's up you guys? Today is day two of this TikTok workout challenge and today I'm going to be doing three separate workouts from three separate creators on TikTok. First I'm going to be starting off with cardio and this workout is by a girl named Lexi and then we're going to be moving on to the butt workout that we're doing every single day like I said yesterday and then lastly we're going to be doing an ab circuit and this is by Summer Marshall. Let's just get started. Now on to the butt workout. My legs are burning. Oh my god, this burns so badly. Holy sh**, this hurts. Ugh. Ow. That hurted. Ooh, we're done with the butt workout. On to abs. Done. That was so hard. The butt workout literally killed me. I'm not even kidding you. Like yesterday, I was hard, but then today, when I was already a little sore, and then the abs after that, literally, I was deceased. So far, these TikTok workouts have been kicking my. <gasps> but anyways, that is it for day two. I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. What's up, you guys? Today is day three of this TikTok workout challenge, and let me just tell you, I am so sore my thighs are burning from the butt workout that we've been doing like in the moment it's not too bad but after my legs are just not feeling it but you gotta do what you gotta do today i'm gonna be doing three workouts again we're gonna start off with cardio and then we're gonna do the butt workout and then finish with abs like we've been doing pretty much every single day and again all the tiktok workouts that i'm doing in this video will be linked in the description box okay let's just get started on day three I don't recommend this. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh my god, I'm fainting. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. That cardio slash hit workout was so hard. Chloe Ting would faint if she tried to do that. I will never do that again. I don't recommend that. Sorry to the creator. Like, she must be the Hulk. I don't know how I'm going to do the butt workout after that because I'm so sore. But let's go. She's gonna fix you up. Okay, that is it for the butt workout. I'm so tired right now, but we have one more workout to go, which is the ab workout, so let's get to it. these workouts have been so much harder than Chloe Tang's two week shred. It's definitely tough. I didn't expect this from TikTok. Like these workouts are hard. That is it for day three. I will see you guys tomorrow for day four. What's up you guys? Today is day four of this TikTok workout challenge. My legs have been burning. I woke up tossing and turning because my legs have been so sore and my butt. That's the update on that. But we're going to push through. I'm not going to give up. We're going to make it to the full week. Today we're going to start off with a cardio workout by a girl named Casey. And then of course we're going to do the butt workout by Sophie. And then lastly we're going to do an ab workout by Lexi. Who I think we did her ab workouts one of the other days. Let's just get started. <laughs> literally 75 degrees outside that was a lot harder than it looked these cardio workouts so far have been so freaking hard so much harder than chloe tang anyways on to the butt workout woke myself up painted a scene i'm they got my queen bee swinging to my sonnet as i lay by it's how i want it in a minute she wrote something that stink good feeling haunted the way she goes and i make eye contact both of our tummies making the same tune heat up the grill and we filling up on to the, the app workout she a 10 but she fitted with adidas a size nine somehow we'll be feeling like we the same shoe Damn, she really been buttering up the jam. Can me and you cuddle up with the fan blown thanks? Yeah, I know you worry about the bitches and fan shows, but you was original, hands on it. I'm good, she good, we good. Okay, and that is it for day four. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
What's up you guys? Welcome to day five of this TikTok workout challenge. I can't believe that we're almost done. Like after doing the Chloe Tang workout, this seems so short. So highly recommend so far. Again, today we're going to be doing three workouts. All the TikTok workouts will be linked in the description box below. day five like I said earlier today was the first day that I haven't been sore since the first day of workouts so if you do try these workouts at home just know that I was super sore myself but if you push through and don't take any days off I honestly think that I was better than if I would have taken a day off but yes that is it for day five I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six What's up you guys? Today is day six and we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm going to be doing a cardio workout and then I'm going to be doing the butt workout as always. I'm not gonna be doing an ab workout today because honestly you're not supposed to train your abs every single day. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna be doing cardio slash hit and butt. Let's just jump into it. not gonna do an ab workout for today so that is going to be it <gasps> I'm very tired today is day six which means tomorrow is day seven that means it's our last workout for this video I'm so excited I know this workout video is only a week long but honestly I did the Chloe Ting two-week shrub program this is so much harder these TikTok workouts are on X Games mode like they're so much harder I definitely think it's been more effective but I guess we'll have to wait and see the results at the end of tomorrow's workout okay I'll see you guys tomorrow bye What's up you guys? So today is day seven, which means it's the last day of this TikTok workout challenge, which I'm so excited about. Not that I'm glad that it's over, just that I'm glad that I completed it and did the full seven days. Like almost every single other day, we're gonna start off with cardio, then do our butt workout, and then lastly, we're gonna finish with abs, and then we're gonna be all done. Let's just get started. completed the last workout for this TikTok workout challenge. But with that being said, I am so sweaty right now. So I'm going to shower and then come back to you guys probably tomorrow. Okay, bye. What's up you guys? It is the next day and yesterday we finished the one week TikTok workout challenge. So today we are going to be looking at the results. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I took my measurements of my waist and my butt and I also took some before pictures to physically see the appearance of my body before I did this one week workout challenge. First, we're gonna start off with measurements. <laughs> Okay, my waist is 28 inches. I'm pretty sure we started off with 28.5 inches, if I'm correct. So we did go down half an inch. That could be based off of what I ate today, things like that. But so far, I did lose half an inch in my waist. Now on to the butt. 
Oh my god, I actually did gain inches in my butt, which is actually crazy if I lost in my waist and gained in my butt. I'll put the measurement on the screen. That is actually crazy that I gained inches in my butt and lost my waist. I'm always skeptical of doing workout challenges because I feel like you can't see results that fast. But because I haven't focused on a specific area group, like working my butt, like I did every single day this past week, I feel like it did make a difference. But I do highly recommend this challenge because clearly it showed results for me. This is what my body looks like after the one week TikTok workout challenge. Obviously there isn't a huge dramatic difference, but I do think I look a little bit more toned. And in general, I just feel a lot more confident in my body knowing that I've been working out and trying to eat healthy, things like that. It's not always what you see, but what you feel on the inside. Okay, now before I end this video, I did want to give my two cents on doing this challenge. Was it effective? Did I like it? Was it better than other workout challenges that I've done? So that is what we're going to be talking about right now. If you guys do watch my videos, you would know that I did the Chloe Ting challenge a couple weeks back. And like I said in the beginning, I took a couple weeks off. So this was basically starting from scratch again. I did like the challenge as I stated in the video. But the problem with that challenge is that you're basically working mostly your abs. And you can't get abs from strictly doing ab workouts. And the reason for that is because every Everyone has abs, obviously, but the reason that some people can't see their abs is because there's a layer of fat covering that up. So in order to get rid of that layer, if you do want to show definition in your abs, you have to burn that fat. And the best way of burning that fat is through cardio and also weighted exercises. And those are two things that Chloe Ting doesn't really do in her program. In this challenge, we were doing weighted workouts with bands and also just our body weight. We focused on a specific area in our body and we were also doing really hard cardio every single day. So I think that this challenge might be more effective if you were to do this every single day rather than doing the Chloe Ting. I think you would show better results. Some of the Tic Tacs that I did do, the girls were showing crazy results and saying that you only need to do it for like two weeks and then you were gonna like get a huge butt or a really snatch waist. And I think these expectations in general are just not realistic most likely. I don't think from doing a two week challenge or even a month long challenge, you can completely change your body. I honestly think it takes months or even years to see these drastic changes in your body and that's where the internet is a little toxic these days but with all that being said you did see me show little changes in this video I think my body does look a little more toned my measurements dropped a little and then also gained a little on my butt but I did really like this challenge and I definitely encourage you guys to go out there and do it especially if you're bored at home like I was when I came up with this challenge like I said earlier all the links to every single workout I did in this video will be linked down below day by day other than that I hope you guys liked this video Video, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to I do post every single Thursday at 2 p.m. So if you're going to forget that make sure to hit that bell icon So you can get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye